intellectual property. No. But are we familiar with the term intellectual poverty? It is a sad term when we come to speak to something that we know is not necessary in our society. We all can go to school. We all know that we can learn either from the church or from institutions that have been established for over hundreds of years. But in reality, we are living in a place and a time that we are realizing that something is amiss. And the big question mark is, what is it? When the Statue of Liberty is in despair. Oompa Loompas. Maybe we remember the Oompa Loompas from uh, the chocolate factory. There were little guys chatting and dancing and doing all kinds of weird things. But when the Statue of Liberty is in despair, the house will burn down. Can you embrace that struggle? Robert F. Kennedy said in 1966, there is a Chinese proverb, I actually cursed, which says, may you be living in interesting times. And we sure live in interesting times. There are times of danger and uncertainty, but they are also the most creative of all times in the history of humanity. This quotation is just as relevant today as it was in 1966. We are undeniable living in one of the most exciting times in the last 1250 years. A time full of uncertainty and danger. But I'm not talking about the danger and fear the media is stoking. I am talking about the unmatched rise of the government overreach, socialism, weakness, white frailty, historic revisions, and pandemic and pandemic hysteria. Yes, when the Statue of Liberty is in despair, a house is about to burn. Is this the right time to panic or is there no reason to panic? When a deranged man runs a reality show in the White House and onlookers and supporters are too afraid to step in, the question arises, does the body of Christ suffer from ticklish ears, a disease that severely retards the patients. What are tickling ears? And what is the cause of it? You cannot treat something if you have not identified the cause. If you want to treat this problem, you must first know what caused the trickling. The cause of ticklish ears is earwax. This is a number one cause. Here we have a better picture. Statue of Liberty is in despair. The house is about to burn down. Versus the end time. Four, no, more years. Uh-oh. I mean, it's a sad, sad scenario when we see so much hassle, challenges, and constant friction. A man that is capable of not only destroying his own life, but the life of many millions around. Was this a necessity or is this something that we are dreaming up because we are looking at the end time? I know that this is a term that many people are coming up with. Oh yes, it is written up in Daniel 2, 4, 8 and then they go on and tell you everything that is happening in the stories. And it's also released in the book of Revelations. But you know, in reality, God speaks over a new beginning. He said there will be a time where we will see people all looking for peace. And Trump, as he is sitting in the White House, that is the deranged man I'm talking about. Some people will like it, some people will hate it. But the point is, the man is unstable. And I'm talking as a guy that is 70 years of age. I was born in June of 1950. So he's only a couple of years older than me. If I can change, Trump can change. If I can change, you can change. There is no need to hide behind false uh, promises or false suggestions. Well, I'm too old to change. You can't change, teach an old dog new tricks. This is baloney, folks. When I repent, 
I submit myself unto God, God Almighty. You know what that means? It means that I'm willing to accept the fact that I screwed up. I am a sinner. Father, I, I completely screwed up. Forgive me, for I have sinned. There is nothing wrong with stating, I have sinned. That's called repentance. It's true. Sometimes our life is so screwed up, our lifestyle or our choices we made, and now we are looking at something that looks like this. A total chaos, because we don't know where we're going. It looks like a sinkhole. Social distancing. Social distancing. Stand within this circle. How often have we been told that we can avoid something if we just do this and this and this and they give us some instructions and we just do just exactly the opposite. We turn around and screw it all up. Why are we constantly falling in that sinkhole? Some of us get a kick out of it. I'm not sure. But let's take a step back. Yesterday we talked about artificial intelligence. It is stuff that fakes something. Reality is I am sitting behind my desk. I'm speaking to you. But you can now put on a face mask and then your mind gets all screwed up. In the old days you used to have LSD. But now they can psychologically make you see certain things and you think you are in a different area. It looks great. It looks awesome. But the reality what is artificial intelligence doing to you? Artificial intelligence creates means you do not need any creativity or tech skills. AI uses industry-leading features like unlimited text-to-speech in 60 languages, one-click translation and much more. Many game-changing parts make the best video maker app in the market today. There are number three. Often the app comes loaded with hundreds of templates. So you don't need any creativity anymore. You just have to push or think something. And they often say you have commercial licensing so you can do this and this and this. So you can make hundreds of dollars. Doesn't that sound familiar in the paradise when God was with Adam and Eve, somebody had to interrupt that because he suggested, you can do this. You will be awesome because you will be like God. AI, artificial intelligence tells us, we can do anything. Look, whatever comes up in your mind, you can conceive. That is what you can achieve. Oof, often there is a drag and drop position, an editing platform, advanced features. You can do unlimited. Uh-oh. Isn't that what somebody else promised during his campaign promises? Trump said to disparage evangelical Christianity as bullshit before the 2016 vote. BS. Beautiful sunshine. I know people don't like talking this way anymore, but what are we doing, folks? Do we have ticklish ears? I got an earphone on today because I like to make sure that what I say comes across the way I want it. I am outraged, not about Trump, because that is a man despicable, but I am outraged about the people that are allowing or enabling him to do this. What is wrong with you folks? What is wrong with you folks? And I'm looking you straight in the face because there is something that's called your suffering of ticklish ears. What is a ticklish ear? Is that a disease or something else? What is it? Have you ever wondered why Christians are doing what they're doing? Or is there something else wrong? Yes, I must admit, I did check out a book written by a lawyer, a former lawyer from President Trump. He was the fixer, a former fixer, Michael Cohen's book details a let's comments, comments after leaders pray for Trump and offensive remarks about Hispanics and blacks. 
and Tell or a Memoir by Michael Cohen describes the scene ahead of the 2016 election. And I don't want to go over it again. But can you believe that he laughs, he sneers at people that believe? Yet he will tell you, square in your face, he is a believer. He believes in Donald Trump. That's the only thing. And he knows that God loves you. Because Trump loves himself a little bit more. When you are suffering as a narcissist, which is obviously the case, you've got a major problem. But that is not the issue. The issue is, how come so many people are suffering of ticklish ears? What is this based on? Is ticklish ears a disease? I checked it out. And folks, it is a disease. You've got wax in your ears, in both ears, and sometimes a doctor needs to remove it. I talked about tickling ears, tickling in ear causes. What does cause tickling ears? It is a true disease, folks. We're talking about tickling ears. Is it a real disease? I looked it up. Ticklish ears is a real disease. You cannot treat something if you have not identified the cause. And if you want to treat this problem, you must first know what caused the trickling. The cause of ticklish ears is ear wax. This is a number one cause. Now what is the ear wax that we are talking about? I talked about PMS. We need to understand the power of the politicians. P stands for politics. Politicians that maintain a certain degree of control over people because they make you believe that this is the way it gotta be for many centuries. But it is also a manipulation. The M stands for money. We know that a certain group of people like to control money. I used to work on Wall Street on a private bank in the mid 90s. And I understand that a lot has changed, but one thing has never changed, how money was controlled. We are just about to see the biggest change ever because the status of the United States as the backup plan after World War II, or actually before, because they only wanted to participate if certain rules were agreed upon. That means that the dollar became the backup system for the whole world. They print and print and print money and everyone says, oh, you owe me. Well, it cost them 10 cents on the dollar. You got to pay a dollar 10, 20 or 30, whatever interest they're charging you. It is illegal what they're doing, but yet, Let's not talk about that for a moment. The power of money, where does it come from? When we know that the original status was of Mammon, the one that wants greed, 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 a little bit more. How much enough? Just a little bit more. Folks, the lust of money comes from a entity called Mammon. If that's the one we're serving, then that's the one we're looking and guided by and we're following him. That is the power of money. But if there is a lust, we're yearning, we want to have that money because then we will be happy. I will be buying a better car. I will be getting my house. I will be able to do that. And in the meantime, you trample on people. You got a problem. And S stands for spirituality. When the spirituality or religions have followed the money and are so in control, I have seen pictures and I followed the, the meetings from President Trump, then elect, that he was telling people, the leaders, your leaders in the churches, if you do this and this and this, I will do that. He was just negotiating as a man that laughs about the idiocracy, the stupidity of others, because he's so smart that he's too stupid to dance before the devil. That's what I dare say about a deranged man called Trump. It is sad 
that you as Christians are following a man only because he promises to recognize Jerusalem. It's like making a deal with the devil. I don't need to shake hands with the devil to see God's promises come through. My God is more than an overcomer. You know why? Because he is the creator of this society. He created this world. He is an awesome God. I love the Father. I love the Lord because he had compassion on me. I love the Father. I love the Lord because he had compassion on me. And I sure know that when I was in my darkest time, he was there and he listened when I cried out to him. And my God shall provide all my needs according his riches. Yeah. He, the one, the first person that restored the relationship between God and mankind, he was the first one that could follow what God had stated. To honor him is all done heart and do not leave. Folks, I want to continue, but I realize that I gotta keep it short because some of us can only absorb so much. Tickle his ears, his waxing ears, and we continue talking about that. But remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. God bless you, and we'll talk soon. Bye for now. <laughs>